Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Rio's How To. Today, how to set up a trout spay or a switch rod. What is that? Well, it's very popular. A lot of people getting into trout spays and switch rods. And so this video is really how to set them up and how to correlate it with a single-handed rod. Trout spays are, as I said, also called switch rods. They are two-handed rods, long grips like this. And the idea is you fish them for trout. They open up a lot of water, a lot of distance, a lot of territory. Uh, they're becoming more and more popular. Generally speaking, these are two-handed rods that will go with a two-weight, a three-weight, or a four-weight, possibly a five-weight. But they have number designations like single-handed rods. But there, the similarity really is different. This one is a four-weight. This is a trout spay four-weight that I absolutely adore. I like the three and four-weight trout spays for my, most of my fishing. And two things to remember about trout spay rods or switch rods. First of all, double the number of the rod size for your fish size. So what that means, this is a four weight rod. So this is perfect for anything up to about eight pounds, six, seven, eight pounds. In other words, pretty well every single trout you're ever likely to catch. If you have a two weight one of these, two times two is four, that's good for fish up to about four pounds. So really that's just a rule of thumb because an awful lot of people buy a five weight trout spay or trout switch rod and then think I'm trout fishing. So I want a five weight. And that thing's like a 10 pound fish. I mean, how many trout are you gonna catch like that? So just make sure you understand that doubling up. That's a very cool tip. And then the other tip about these, these rods is you add the number three. I know this is complicated because there's lots of numbers, but you add the number three to convert it to a one-handed rod. So again, this is a four weight rod, four plus three is seven. So this is about like a seven weight one-handed rod. And you'll see why that's a relevant point in a second. So really that's what a trout spay or switch rod is as all those terminologies floating around. Uh, as I said, those are just two-handed, long rods, usually in excess of 10 foot, 10 foot six, up to about 12 foot. That's the rod. In terms of lines and how you set it up, well, it depends on what you want. Like trout fishing, there's an awful lot of fly lines out there that do the job. You might want to fish soft hackers, you might want to fish streamers, you might want to catch steelhead on them. All these rods and lines will do that kind of thing. But let's just run through a few basic ones and what they're designed for, and then you can kind of choose from that according to what you're gonna do. We'll start off with what's called a Skagit, line, a Skagit, this one's a real Skagit Trout Max. Um, doesn't matter whose who's it is, but basically what a Skagit line is, a very short, chunky rope. This one is only 11 foot long. It has a loop on both ends. You have to attach a running line to it, and you have to attach a tip to the front end. That makes the complete kit. You can't just buy that and go fishing. You have to have a running line on the back and a tip on the front end. And this is a very, very short, very heavy, very powerful tip. This thing is designed specifically for throwing big flies and in very, very tight locations. So if you're fishing big weighted streamers, this is your man. You want to put a tip on the front end of that. Uh, there's a whole variety of tips. What these things called mo tips. These are light mo tips. That's just a size. And these are designed for your trout series rods. So go for light mo tips. That's a perfect line and a perfect tip combination for throwing big flies. Just remember that, big flies. If you don't want to throw big flies and you want to throw something just more generic, my all-time favorite is a Scandi short Versatip. And this is what that looks like. Basically, it's a Scandi line, which is a long, fine taper, much better presentation. It comes with a wallet of tips like this, 10 foot long tips, floating, intermediate, type three, type six. I fish the intermediate when I'm swinging soft tackles, which is about my drug of all drugs in fly fishing with trout. I fish the type six when I'm fishing streamers, fish the floating line if I'm waking a caddis or something like that. Note that you match the rod size with this size. This is a four weight Scandi short versa tip. So it's perfect for that four weight trout spay switch rod. Again, it needs a running line on the back end. So you've got to put some kind of shooting line on the back end. It's just a shooting head. If you don't want to involve yourself with heads and running lines and loop to loops and connection, you just want one piece things. There's really two options. The switch chucker is a four weight again, because I'm matching it to a four weight two handed rod. And this is a line that's got a running line built in, the head's built in, and you can just tie off the front end, whatever you want. You can tie a nylon leader and, and fish it normal leader. You can put a bobber and an indicator and nymphs on there and tie that off. You can put on the mo tips I just showed you. You can put on versi and poly leaders. Basically you can put on what you like on the front end. That's a really cool line because it's very easy. It's got everything built in. Uh, as I said, it's a four weight. Or if you really want to get out of the spay world, 
And going back to what I talked about earlier on about the number three, the, how the, you correlate the spay world to the two-handed uh, two world to the one-handed world, another line you can put on, which I fish a lot on it, is a single-handed spay line. But note, it's a seven weight. All right, there's that three. So this will load up perfectly a four-weight trout spay, but you buy a four-weight one of these and put it on the four-weight trout spay, you are out of the park. There's no way you're going to cast it. You haven't got enough grain weight to load the rod. So it doesn't really matter what line it is. I like these single-hand spay lines because I do a lot of spay casting, so that's my kind of line. But if you're fishing a, a Rio Grande or any trout line and you want to put your regular trout line on your two-handed trout spay, then go up three sizes, and that gives you the idea of how it's going to balance and work out. As I said, these trout spay rods go down to two weights as far as I know. There may probably be one weights by now, but a two weight's a really nice light one for small trout, smaller streams. And again, if you're fishing a one-handed rod, that is your five weight single-hander. So really, that is it. Fairly short film, but just wanted to get put it out there because we get so many questions at Rio on how do you set up a trout spay rod or how do you set up a switch rod? And hopefully that gives you enough information. Get out there and buy one of these things that are so much fun. And that way you'll also hopefully have enough knowledge to rig it up right and get on the water and fish it as it should be fished. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it and you like these how-to episodes, check the Rio website out, Rio TV, and you'll find out on the Rio TV section a whole bunch of these how-to videos. Thanks very much for watching. See you on the water.